Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I am delighted to moderate this session focused on advancing the participation of women and girls in science and STEM. Um, around the world, when we look at the data, we see that although girls are equally capable and often outperform boys in science and math, they're often less likely to pursue STEM subjects, particularly computer science and engineering. And when we dig into the drivers, we see a range of challenges, particularly gender stereotypes and biases at home in classroom, in the classroom, in workplaces, in the media, and of course in our broader society. And this has a big impact in terms of girls' interest, aspirations, and confidence uh, in STEM. And so the research shows us that female role models are critical in encouraging girls to pursue STEM, which is why I'm really delighted and excited to uh, learn more from our two speakers here today who are doing really creative work in this area. Uh, we have Cynthia Drivas, Vice President of Partnerships and Development at Listen Entertainment, and Kate Maloney, Executive Director of Infosys US Foundation USA. All right, let's jump right in. So Kate, let's start with you. Um, tell us more about the partnership with Mission Unstoppable. How does supporting this program align with your mission uh, of focus on STEM education at the Emphasis Foundation? Sure, uh, so great to be with everyone for International Women's Day. The Infosys Foundation USA is committed broadly to expanding access to computer science and maker education for K-12 teachers and students. So we're working with teachers on professional development through our Pathfinders Institute. We're working with all sorts of nonprofits who are the leaders in the computer science space. And we're trying to do some really innovative and cool media campaigns, uh, which kind of led us to Mission Unstoppable. Uh, so it was just probably six months ago that the door opened to work with this Emmy Award winning television program, and we seized the opportunity. And Mission Unstoppable, for those who, who may not know, and Cynthia will elaborate, uh, shines a spotlight on leading females who are working in the STEM field. And the ideas that they showcase through this program can become role models and inspire girls to pursue a variety of opportunities that exist for them professionally in the STEM field. So we thought, we work with teachers, what better way to inspire girls to believe in what's possible than to show them a really cool STEM educator who's working to spark their confidence and exposure in the classroom and also working on a cool robotics and coding program after school. So this spring, as I understand through Cynthia most recently, this spring we are going to be showcased in one of these episodes, uh, or more specifically, a teacher who has come to our institute for the past five years. So we're going to see her in action. Okay, we're having a couple of issues with your audio. So I think what I'll do is go to Cynthia, um, and then hopefully we can, in the next round, we can... Yes. Um, Come back to you. All right, so Cynthia, um, media and online learning experiences can be really powerful. And of course, our session is aptly titled Seeing is Believing. So how do you see the, the media landscape evolving to include, include programming that encourages girls to pursue STEM? And what do you think is unique about Mission Unstoppable's content and reach? So, um it's no secret that women are grossly underrepresented in STEM careers, especially women of color, as we've heard um, mentioned a, little, a bit today. And as the studies show, a lack of female role models is a driving factor in the gender gap in these STEM professions. So it's at the heart of why Litton Entertainment in partnership with Lida Hill Philanthropies and their If Then initiative created Mission Unstoppable. And Mission Unstoppable is a weekly series that presents female STEM professionals in innovative, fun ways in order to help educate, empower, and offer role models to the next generation of innovators and, and STEM pioneers. And as the initiative always says, is if she can be, if she can see it, then she can be it. And the representation seen every single week, and, and that's really important, the frequency and the visibility on a regular basis of, of, you know, of women on Mission Unstoppable is one way to try to inspire young girls and reduce the gender equity gap in STEM. 
core to our strategy. We offer content and messaging from the show on a variety of social media and digital platforms where teens are spending a tremendous amount of time. We've created original Mission Unstoppable content, STEM shows on Twitch around science and gaming, short form episodes on Snapchat, uh, an original content uh, series for YouTube, and essentially by de de democratizing this STEM mission and our, and our message, teens are embracing the content, and we've seen huge, huge growth on social platforms. I mean, a recent STEM campaign we just conducted generated over 2 billion engagements. That's, that's with a B, because sometimes we have to remind ourselves to. Um, and the response has been incredibly positive. And so what we see is that teens are enjoying consuming purpose-driven content. And I'm sure we will continue to see more platforms expand their, co uh, their content offering in these areas because of the popularity of programming like Mission Unstoppable. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that, Cynthia. Kate, I wanna go back to you. Hopefully the connection's a little bit better, um, but I have a question for the both of you and I wanna start with you. So I think, you know, in the, in the effort to increase um, women's participation in STEM, we focus so much on the girls and we focus so much on the women and we, you know, we explore what works to in increase confidence, interests and aspirations. Um, but, you know, even when they do pursue STEM, they face a lot of barriers and, um, you know, a lot of issues in the workplace. and. So so, you know, I wanted to ask you, how can we start to fix this larger ecosystem, right? Because it's not just about women and girls. It's also about the environment in which we all exist. So, Kate, over to you. Yeah, I do hope the, the Zoom stays connected. I'm sorry for that technical moment. Keeps me on my toes. Uh, so, yes, I think when we're talking about an ecosystem, it's also important today to mention the power of partnership. So we're all digging in with a laser focus to where we feel we can have the greatest impact but I think it's also at the same time imperative that we keep an open mind to cool collaborations like the one that you're witnessing today, right? Thinking a little bit beyond what was traditional for the foundation has led us to have a partnership with someone who's having a B, not an M impact on TikTok. So just, just to start with that, but I think our foundation is is focused on what's happening in the classroom part of that, right? What's happening before they get to the workplace. And the, the educators that we are working with and the school systems we're focused on are those that are more of the underrepresented and the under-resourced. So we pay particular attention to the teachers as we just witnessed in the previous panel who are in Title I schools or, or students who are possibly in hard to reach rural populations. So what's happening in the classroom that's really reflective of their wider community is conversation. Teachers are, are focused on content, but they're also having one-off conversations that we know, especially as girls, when we think back to who impacts us at a young age, second and third grade or middle school, is our teachers. And it's often what they say to us about what's possible that sticks. It sticks with us all the way to adulthood. So we want the teachers we work with having really cool conversations with their kids in the classroom. And we do that by bringing in people like we just had at Pathfinders, who is a correspondent on Mission Unstoppable. We had one of their recent correspondents come and speak to teachers. And the whole point was to break down barriers and stereotypes in their mind so then when they're having those one-off conversations with a student, they can say, have you thought about being a biotechnician? Have you thought about going into FinTech? Have you thought about being the engineer of the World Trade Center, which I learned this morning was a female, the leading architect driving the World Trade Center, which is where our foundation is headquartered. So um, the person who came to speak to our teachers, and Cynthia knows her well and made this possible, she was Miss Universe Ireland which is impressive. But more impressive is that she is an engineer and a NASA data knot. So teachers saw this exquisite person speaking to them, but then the conversation went into a whole different layer around what is possible for girls. So in a nutshell, it's really, at least our influence is around the conversation, changing the conversation and the exposure that girls have in the classroom beyond their official studies. Thank you so much for sharing that, Kate. And Cynthia, in maybe 10 seconds, I'd love to hear from you on this. <laughs> so I'll just say, as a media entity, it, 
making this content, much like our partnership with the Emphasis Foundation, it's critical that it is accessible to everybody. Um, so increasing the accessibility, the awareness, telling the stories of women who have found a successful path across a wide variety of STEM careers and how they accomplished it and sharing that with a national and global audience is vital to helping change the STEM ecosystem. And it's part of what Litton Entertainment is our, what is our mandate to deliver mission-driven programming for social good.